Would you welcome Christian Cutler, Good old Jesus. His name's David Daniels. He is he's a mentor for me. He's one of the most inspirational men I've ever met in my life. I want to show you that I love you. <laughs> he's a local to where I grew up. Oh, Wanchi. Wanchi. And it's a fishing village, mainly. We built boats, we built fish houses, we've committed to staying here. A North Carolina fishing community separated from their boats by sand. You can dredge it out in three days it'll be back a lot of people from around here know him he's um he's just an awesome man of god i believe he's like 70 years of age every time i'm around him he just inspires me more and more to be like him one day men and women can be set free by the blood of the victorious jesus christ because he's been running this race a long time and sometimes it's easy to slow down and from what I've seen and from what a lot of people in the community have seen, this man has just pursued his call 100, 110%. You will never, never, ever be the same again. We both were raised in the same church. He goes to, he's been to India maybe 33 times, 34 times now. Well, I'm wild for Jesus. He's taken me under his wing. He has a church called Lifeboat Community Church down in Salvo, North Carolina and uh, he calls me his associate pastor. He has helped me be involved as a pastor in a church. So it's really helped me grow and get more comfortable speaking in front of people because he just kind of throws me on the spot and makes me say things when I'm not necessarily comfortable, but in order to grow, you gotta break out of your comfort zone. He's just been an inspiration ever since the day I met him. If you guys don't have a mentor in your life, you need to um, pray about it and ask God to put a mentor in your life because I've got quite a few mentors that um, have just done so much for me. Matt Meekins, my own father, my stepfather. There's so many people in my life that just pour into me that know my potential. So if you guys don't have somebody who knows your potential and wants to encourage you, Andy, um, there's people on my missions team. I'm meeting new and new, like more mentors. And as life progresses, you can't think that you already know everything. You have to be accepting to learning more from people who have been through life a lot longer than you have. Pride, ego, all that stuff, that's just gonna get in the way of your knowledge and the way you increase life skills. Take a look at what I got right here. This is my father, and it's a famous quote. The American people don't like to do a lot of working these days. They like to have somebody do the working for them. I don't know who said the quote, but I just kind of pretended that um, that he made it. That's my dad when he was like close to my age. I'm sure he was, he might have been like 18, 19, maybe 21. I'm 21 right now, so I don't, I'm told I look a lot older than 21, but it's the beard. But you know, if you can grow one, why not? We are supporting him and, and praying for him every day, believing that God's going to give him an incredible, incredible trip. He kind of looks like I think a lot of people think Jesus would look like if he were here in the flesh. His name is Christian. That's me. Eleven different nations that he will be in for one month at a time. Would you welcome? Christian Cutler, good old Jesus. Can you say praise the Lord? That's the kind of God we serve, who does the miraculous and the greatest miracle that can ever happen in any of us is when we invite Him in our heart, Him in our life, so He can live His life through all of us. Because I love you. I really love you. I don't want to just tell you I love you. I want to show you that I love you. We love you too. And that's what Jesus would do if he were here in the flesh. That's why he died on the cross. He let them eat him and kill him. But as they were doing it, he says, Father, forgive him. 
they don't look like they do. I forgive them. And I'm allowing this to happen because I want them to be a part of my family where they can live in heaven with me forever and ever. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That's the power of the Lord. That's the power of the Lord. He 